In this video we are going to be having a look at publishing our module on Drupal.org, part 1. I am going to present you here the module that I want to publish on Drupal.org. I already run PHP code sniffer checks on it and everything is ok. Dependency injection is implemented where needed and I am going to simply show you the module and we are going to start digging into drupal.org on how we could publish a module on it. So in this Drupal instance I basically have the module installed and all it does is that it actually introduces this edit button here and this is not the edit button that we usually have from Drupal that is basically activating the quick edit and the contextual links here but this is basically leading to the node edit. So this is on the node view page and it's leading to the node edit. And it also works for taxonomy terms. So if you are on the taxonomy detail page, you have the edit and you could go to the taxonomy edit page. And my idea is that for example, this toolbar I don't really need because I want everything to look the way, for example, the end user would see it. So I would rather not have this. And this could be, of course, removed simply by going to the tabs and saying that we want to hide them for the node, everything, and taxonomy. term everything yeah like this and it would work also for the note there we go we don't have the tabs and we have this button here so that's essentially my idea for module I'm going to try to publish it on drupal.org and I found already a page that is called creating a new full project it's explicitly named like this because it's also possible to create a sandbox project but my idea is that i want to go for the real deal and uh, try to create the full project so everything's fine so let's go ahead and have a look at this text uh, once you have received the approval to create full projects I haven't received such approval uh, but you could have for example a sandbox project and turn it into a full project but I want to go for creating a new project and what what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply click here and I'm going to say here that I want to add a module project fair enough and the name of my project it's essentially here from my info it's called toolbar edit button it's supposed to be a full project it is going to be a adding the node edit and taxonomy term edit button into the admin toolbar that's it I don't have images for now it's going to be actively maintained I hope it is going to be under active development initially and the module categories it could be under administration and yeah that's pretty much 
it I guess if there is content that's going to be nice content there we go so administration content that's enough use this field to indicate that this project's primary purpose is to provide enhancement for one of and more other more projects that's not the case replaced by and the description here it is pretty much the same description as I added here I could of course I would of course later improve it there is nothing to be said about Drupal 9 the organization I could rather remove it for now no I can't remove it supporting organization and yeah here issues that's good enough resources project documentation yeah there's stuff that I don't really want to right here but let's go ahead and try to save it now and please use lowercase for the project short name it should be all lowercase let's say okay the project short name that's going to be two bar edit button okay yes of course it doesn't make sense if you write a whole sentence there and if we click save oh um, the git repository for this project has been queued for creation it should be available in a few seconds module project toolbar edit button has been created that looks perfect here is our description we have also our project name created by me and we have also the short name the one thing that I actually wrote slightly wrong but that's how we learn and it's basically the most important thing because this is the bit that is going to be used also for the composer require when we're downloading a module and yeah in the next video we're going to have a look at how we could gain access to our git repository and how we could basically push our code base to this git repository and have actually some functionality here to our drupal.org module so if you like this video please check the links in the description like subscribe and thanks for watching